Welcome back everyone to episode 5 of my medieval long play. In the previous episode we made our way into the asylum where the mayor of the sleeping village was being held captive and we went to the enchanted earth where we entered an anthill in order to gather some amber as well as save some very strange looking baby fairies uh, but we were rewarded with one of the um, uh, I guess it was, yeah, we got the dragon gem from the mayor, and then the ant hill, we got some meat. And I said I was going to figure out what exactly the meat was good for between episodes, and then I completely forgot to do that. I'm going to see if I can't look it up real quick. What exactly does the drumstick do for us? Um, not sure. Still have no idea. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll give it a shot and see if uh, we can't figure that out in this uh, this area here. Maybe there's an enemy that we can entice with it, and that'll help keep them distracted while we do whatever it is we're doing. Again, my memory of this game involves us freeing the shadow demons here instead of locking them away. But it's been so long. Maybe I have it backwards. Maybe they're already free and we're using the shadow artifact to reseal them within the earth. Not sure. Still want to know what the frog is smoking. <laughs> I mean, it's coming right out of his nostrils, you know? None of these frogs seem to drop any charge for the chalice, killing them, so... Come on, hit him. There we go. Now, there's a shop, Gargoyle, right there. You can see him, but I can't reach him. I want... Maybe that's something that happens when you use the Shadow Artifact, wherever it is that we're supposed to use it. It opens that up. Nope, oh, get back here. Again, I'm starting to wonder if the axe was worth the effort. Seems like I, I miss more often than I hit with this thing. But then again, the frogs are a very hard enemy to hit. At all. Okay, so what do I gotta do? Do I gotta just use the... Eh, yeah, whack it with my arm. Yeah, we had talked about it before, that the fact that if you ran out of weapons, you can literally use your own arm, and it functions very much like the axe in this game. You don't use that here. Hmm. Alright, so what am I supposed to do? See, I would have figured you just used it right here. Alright, it can't be something where... Well, maybe I... Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to go this way. Put the arm back on, dummy. Ow, oh, jerk. Okay, there we go. There was another path. I just wasn't taking it yet. Get, get out of here. Keep out! This gate leads to the Tomb of the Shadow Demons. And I have to have a key in order to get in there. Oh, turn. Oh, 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 Like a giant magpie, the dragon bird sits upon its hoard of stolen treasures. High above the trees, you will find a nest. Those eggs are worth their weight in gold. And let's go smash them, because I'm a monster. Oh, come on. Hit it. There we go. I don't know if I should go this way first or th this way. Let's try this way. Since the game's not holding my hand and telling me I gotta go this way. This is probably something where you get on top of the tree and then fall out of a, a hole. Would be my guess. Yeah, because there's nothing you can reach inside of it right now. Hey yo, hey yo. 
Oh, wait, 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 before we do that. I'm sure it'll come back. Get out of here. I want all that sweet, sweet health. Close. Hey, look at that. You sneak behind the tree and you get some free money for it. Those were big. Those were, uh, they weren't little bags. I think they were actual chests. Oh, crap. Get on that thing. Now, why do you insist on fidgeting? Stop walking so far. <laughs> Come on, damn it. Uh, I wait for it to move. Nothing happens. So I start moving around a little bit and then it moves enough just for me to fall off. Don't move. Dan. Dan, listen to me, buddy. Don't move. I'm going to fall off the second one. Watch. Oh, hey. oh. Walk your ass back to the center. There we go. Again, the game's strong suits do not include platforming. This game has some absolutely atrocious platforming. As would make sense for a game that was made in 98 and 3D platformers were still pretty nascent. I just did not have the tech down for it to make it fun or comfortable. Oh, stop walking to the edge. Oh, the camera's not helping any here. All right. Uh, I think you have to push the eggs out. Ah! Oh, crap. <laughs> also, I think you got to work fast because that bird will come and get you. No, no, no. Get out of here. Stop it. Push, 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 push. What are you doing? What are you doing? Push faster. There's a bird trying to kill you. Gotcha. One of these is going to have the key I need. Oh, hey. There it is. Nope, that's not it. Damn it. Oh, I hope that didn't just take my gold shield. There's the key. All right, now we can fall all the way to the bottom. Come on. Um, you jerk. Go. Uh, to the bottom. I did not find the giant hole in a tree that I was hoping for to take me back down to the bottom. And I do not feel comfortable just stepping off one of these. Oh, now I do. All right, see you. All right, where are we at? I think that just told me about the bird. Um, I think that's where you're supposed to use the shadow artifact, but let's... Well... Let's go and open the other path first. If I can figure out where it is. There it is. Uh, where's the... Nope. Get out of there. Alright, so... I think you have to use... Okay, so I do have all my shields. All right. I think you have to use the shadow artifact to get all of the chalice filled because we haven't done anything yet that has filled the chalices. So let's try using the shadow artifact. Nope, not letting me do it. I don't know. I just don't know. Because there's also doors that we see stuff behind we can't get to yet. If I'm a little bit foggy, it's because... Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, it's, if I'm a little foggy, it's because I haven't played the game in... 15 years? We might want to save state here. In case I keep falling in the... Whatever that is, tar. Ooh. 
I don't like how much he slid there. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Damn it. Oh, f you frog. Damn it. That was not fair. Come on. Get over. Thank you. All right. Nanchalenta. The shadow demons are entombed within, separated from the world of goodness and light until the earth cracks open. No one, not even the Dark Lord Zarek, can release them without the shadow artifact. Oh, you mean this thing here? Or share their doom. No, you can't make me. I want to do it. Oh, look at the, the door is shaped like a mouth going. Rawr! Uh, I think I can just stand next to it and use it. I think. Also, I think we're about to get shited by that talking gargoyle. Uh, maybe it's another one. Again, I think part of the reason why the gargoyles only ever say one thing, with the exception of the Hall of Heroes, is because this is so early in recorded dialogue and creating triggers for them to say something different that they didn't figure out they could have a gargoyle say multiple different things with the exception of Hall of Heroes. Most of them only ever say one recorded dialogue, and that's it. Sir Dan, you must take the Shadow Demon Talisman. It is an unholy relic, but it may allow you progress through Shadow Demon territory. I thought I already had it. All right, so... Oh, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, because that's what you do to get past the... Oh, wait. All right, so what are we supposed to do? That doesn't tell me anything. Oh, okay. We haven't seen anything yet that told me what the order of these is supposed to be. So, maybe go backwards? Now, well, let's do this. Fire, water, wind, or... I'm guessing that's earth. Fire. Wind. Water. Earth. Hmm. What did we... Was there any book? No, I won't even tell you that. No feedback on what is the right switch to hit first. Maybe this one? Ah, oh boy. Mm. See if there's any kind of context clue for which one is supposed to be first. I'm not seeing anything. This way? No, oh, go the other way. No. Um, that one, this one, this one, this one? No. This one, this one. This one, this one. Alright. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, I think it's time I cheat a little, because they didn't give... There were no books that we saw on the way here that told me what exactly I had to do. 
Because if there was, I would have I would have been able to follow what exactly they were trying to tell you. Fire, Earth, Water, Wind. But I don't remember seeing anything that told me that it's supposed to be Fire, Earth, Water, Wind. All right, so Fire, Earth, Water, Wind. I thought I did that. Fire, Earth, Water, Wind. Well, that didn't do it. Fire, Earth, maybe this is Water, Wind. There it is. Yeah, they really needed to give you some kind of clue on what exactly the right order is. And we're about to get chided, I think. This is supposed to be a bad thing that we're doing. Alright, so there's our shadow artifact. Shadow talisman, whatever. And the chalice that we have not actually earned yet. Not yet. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Whee! Oh, here it comes. Go on. Tell me I did a bad thing. What have you done? Once again, the shadow demons are wreaking havoc across the land, and it's all thanks to you. The single most destructive and wretched creatures in the history of the world, and you've given them an early parole. They will be heading for the ruins of King Peregrine's castle. Galamir is doomed. Sorry. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, oh. Now if I actually start hitting him. Oh, they are tough. And I am not making any progress from what I can tell. All right. Come on. Pick, pick the sword. There we go. Whew. Oh, that was brutal. I gotta face a whole bunch of those guys to get the full chalice. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. There we go. The axe was not it. Then again, the sword is charged right now. What? What? Oh, plants. Okay. New enemies have appeared. So now it would behoove me to search the area for any uh, enemies that we hadn't killed yet, because they were hidden, including... Aha! Now all the doors are open. I think that is warranted here because these enemies are hitting pretty hard. I'll go ahead and buy up a full stock of those. Probably need them in the very near future because I think there's a boss here. Uh, you want some jerk? I'll give it to you. Except I can't reach you, so I'm not going to give it to you at all. There we go. Come some more baddies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder if I gotta go all the way up to the top of this tree in order to find the. Well, let's uh, let's try to use the charge while we got it instead of wasting time going up to a, a tree top that may or may not produce anything of use. Go this way. See, there's new plants to kill here. No, no, but out! Come on! Damn it! The plant wouldn't. I couldn't walk past the plant while it was disintegrating. That was stupid. All right. So I didn't get anything by going back here. This was a mistake. Oh, I hate this. All right, we made it. Oof. God, I hate the platforming in this game. You make your platforming this nerve-wracking, you didn't do it right. Absolutely gonna have to go 
find a farm spot to get some health. And we'll probably do what we did the last episode where I headed to the very first area where there were two health fountains and take advantage of those so that we can get a, a nice uh, restock there. One of the things that I, and I had to check to see what exactly all was left with the items in the Chalice uh, Dungeon, or not Chalice Dungeon, I'm talking Bloodborne, uh, Hall of Heroes. Um, we don't have a ton of things left to get from the champions that are there. That doesn't mean there's only a few levels left. There's quite a few levels left, actually. But we have found the overwhelming majority of the good equipment that you can get in the game already. And the reason for that is, uh, as we have already seen, quite a few of the chalices that you collect in this game and return to the Hall of Heroes don't result in you getting anything permanent. It's usually money or gold. Now, there are a couple of life bottles that we'll end up getting from the champions as a result of returning the chalice, but we have not gotten to that point yet. I think I have to use the item here. There we go. No more. No more cooking me. Oh, God. Ugh, I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. And we should probably put on something to attack enemies at a distance. Let's use this. We haven't used this at all yet. This ain't doing too bad. Oh, 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 crap. Oh, stop it. Boy, I didn't hit anything there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, don't make me regret this game. No, 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 If I die at another death, it's over. I have to restart the level, I think. Quit running, you coward. Oh, god damn it. He, he stops just long enough for me to not have a chance to hit him. Yeah, suck it. Just hammer, 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 hammer. Do it. Yes. Oh, 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 come on at the last second. Screw you, game. No, 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 come on. I don't want to waste the shots if I'm not going to hit anything. Nope, 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 and that's why we had to save. Of course, I'm in real rough shape right now. 122 points. That's not much. Target! Oh, you sons of bitches. Aim at him. I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, suck my ass. The game's just gonna be super cheap now. Come on. 
land where I can aim at you or stop. Gotcha. Plunk away, plunk away, plunk away, screw him. Alright, out of the way. Out of the way, the fireballs. Out of the way, the fireballs. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Oh. <laughs> Take me somewhere good. Can I eat this? I know the answer is going to be no. Of course not. Alright, whoa, 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 I see health. I see health. Oh, thank you. I better save before I make this jump. <laughs> That's just what I need. I'm going to jump and miss it completely. All right, there we go. I see two health fountains. Oh, thank you. Oh, that was brutal. Again, early in the game, almost no difficulty. I think they're finally starting to introduce some elements of difficulty to the game. Although, to be honest, it didn't feel terribly fair that the platform would tip and you wouldn't have enough time to recover and take one shot before they start moving again became harder to hit. All right, got some cash. Still don't have a full charge for the chalice, so there's something we're missing. I would guess it's two shadow demons we gotta find somewhere that we have not fought yet. Don't know where. Somewhere. Ooh, yes, more. More health. Do not fall in the hole trying to get to the health idiot. Oh, full health. Thank you, game. And I have to I have to touch the ground and find out. Is there something down here? There is not. <laughs> uh, that's why we save. Ah. All right, well, now I'm back on the ground. There they are. Come on. One of you's got to die. There we go. And full charge. All right, let's go find that mouth that we had to jump in. I th no, it wasn't this way. It was back where the key was used. This way, here, right? I hope we're going to save again. <laughs> Game is making me nervous. No. Oh, <laughs> I said, hey, this platform, we're going to grab it with my toenails. Thank you. I honestly don't remember what's available now. I, I can't imagine we've already made it to the point where we're going to get the magic sword, but who knows? Maybe. That would be awesome. Okay. We could go back and we could try to buy the remaining stock of items that we need, or we can just wait until we find the next gargoyle. I think we'll just wait. And I take any more chances. The Enchanted Earth was frustrating enough, and I know we're coming up on an area that is probably going to result in me having to restart at least once. Because there is an area of this game that has a whole lot of death, instant death pits that we can get pushed into. All right, so that I think is one of the last upgrades you get in the game and I, I want to say it's lightning because they've mentioned it there was like this lady that would give you lightning so we're not getting the sword this time damn all right so we can talk to um, blood monath skull cleaver and hear his awful accent again and that looks like all we can do no idea what he's gonna drop but since we already got his axe it's probably gonna be something we don't need unless it's a life bottle it might be a life bottle. 10,000 courses for this guy. I bet money you be back pushing all daisies by now. Hey, I have something here for you. You like it very much? You want? 
Oh god, even worse. I don't need money. Well, that was not worth it. <laughs> Here's 150 bucks. Whatever. I think that's one of the missteps that they had in this game, is the fact that you go back to the Hall of Heroes and they don't necessarily give you anything that you would have needed. Sometimes. Sometimes it's like, well, we only had like eight or nine items that we could give you through the course of the game, and you go back there like 20, 25 times. So, fill it out with a bunch of garbage that no one actually would ask for. Especially when it comes to health, because when it comes to health, you can find other ways to get health easily without having to waste an item that you would get from the Hall of Heroes. So this is one of the areas where we are really going to start getting pressed hard by the, uh, the game's um, obnoxious platforming and or instant death pits. Pools of the Ancient Dead. This can be a very frustrating area. Partly because there are a bunch of chests in here that will explode, you know, like the, the bomb ones that we've seen before. And of course, if you're around a bunch of pits that you can fall into and die instantly if you fall in, that's probably what they're going to do, is they're just going to push you into one of them. Bulls of the Ancient Dead, depending on where you reference, possibly something from Lord of the Rings, possibly something about World War I, because, of course, this game was made by a British developer, so World War I has extra significance to those uh, individuals from Europe. You going to talk to me? Cold and dark. We will remember an ancient battle fought here between the forces of good and the dark armies of Zarak. Now the marshes are full of the mistress dead. Okay. Now, do I have... No, I don't have any charge for the chalice. So, uh, I thought I had heard something, or read something in the, uh, the guide I've been looking through periodically! <laughs> No, 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 no. We're not losing a full bottle that early. All right, skip the cutscene. Let's just get to the game. Interesting. This is running off of my internal, the, the, the drive that I installed on my Polymega. It still has loads. Now, is it faster than what it used to be? I, I don't remember. There we go. That helps some. Weapons are useless against the heavy armor of the knights. Don't let them shove you in the swamp. That mud will never come out. And I see health up there. Aha. Do I need health? Maybe a little bit? Not a ton. Hey. This might be where it would behoove me to... Oh, crap. There we go. So you don't get anything for killing them, but you... Oh, yeah, you do. I just got 2% for pushing that guy in. Oh. What is this? Greetings, stranger. I am the boatman. It is I who ferry lost souls on their final journey to the land of the dead. But oh, I have not met before. Sir Daniel Fortescue. What do you do? Thanks to Zarok's meddling them up to me, eye sockets and lost souls have woken from the eternal sleep. The business hasn't been this brisk since before they invented sanitation. <laughs> Look, if you help me to gather up a boatload of eight lost souls and bring them here, I'll drop you off at the sunken town of Melamede. How's that sound? Not sure how I do that. I hope it doesn't mean dragging guys like the one I just pushed into the mud back to this guy, because if that's the case, I may have already screwed myself over. So we'll do the best we can to make it through without having to save scum every five seconds, but, I mean, the fact of the matter is this area could make uh, for a very painful experience if we don't. Can I push him further with this? A little bit. But it's harder to aim, so I might be better off just using the sword. 
Gotcha. There we go. I knew I'd have a chance to get something. Supplies. Yeah, I think it's worth it. So one of the things that was happening and I wasn't really taking full advantage of during that gargoyle fight was the fact that I was lighting the gargoyles on fire and they were taking, you know, burning damage while they were uh, lit up. Uh, hmm. Oh, there we go. Right here. Turn. Face. Face. Do not fall in the mud because you can't get the camera to do what you want. I don't believe it. I don't believe it! Oh, f*** you, game, and your goddamn finicky camera. Okay, I guess he can just walk on the lava. See ya. Okay, top out. So, at least one of these has our uh, ghost serpent creature buddy, but it's hard to tell which one it is because they all look the exact same. The rest of them will basically explode when you hit them and that's not necessarily what you want. All right, I think I found it. So these are the eight souls that we need to pick up. Really just helmets, but whatever. Get that lava or mud or whatever. Don't keep belly bumping. Get in. See ya. Alright, step, step, step. I hate to say it, but this may be one of those areas where I just gotta tippy-toe to make sure I don't accidentally fall in this uh, pit. Hey, thank you, idiot! <laughs> now I'm gonna pay the price. I'm gonna have the camera freak, uh, flake out while I'm walking around uh, a narrow spot and I'll fall right in. Alright, I see something we do want. We want that key. Turn. No, nope, other, other way. Do not walk off the ledge. Oh, shoot. Alright, so... Oh, owie, 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 owie. Why are you not fighting me? Get out of here, jerks. Get him. Get him. There's a guy throwing axes at me. Alright. Unfortunately, that may be the only way we get the full charge in this area since they're paying so little is to, uh... Oh, you jerk. We might have to stand at points where they're gonna keep regenerating. Alright, here we go. Jump! Alright, we made it. Oh, you dick. Turn. Not worth the money. Don't worry about the money. Get out of here. I need something I can throw. Alright, well, he ran off. Run? Oh, no, I hit you. All right, I, I think I've probably lost at least four lives at this point in our playthrough just from trying to make a jump and hitting the wrong button. I hate to say it. Damn it! They should never, never have mapped the jump button to the right button or, or circle in the case of the PlayStation controller because it has now cost me, you know, four, four full bottles of health just from the mistake of hitting the wrong button. That is unforgivable. I feel like everyone who has designed a game 
up to and including today has come to the understanding that the right button to hit in order to jump is the bottom one or X or B or whatever controller you're using, but the bottom of the four face buttons should be jump. Yes, I know there are some games that make it triangle. Those games are also anomalies. The, the standard button should always be the bottom one. The bottom makes you jump. Get at it. Get, 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 get. No, 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 no. You're not. Get, 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 get. No, 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 no. Oh. Alright, so this one should be safe to... There, there's one of those camera freak flake outs that I was talking about. I don't need that right now. In fact, I haven't been using my shield at all because I'm an idiot. Also, they put that as the button that uh, you hit on top. The, the triangle button or X or Y or whatever. No, come on. No, 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 no. Get at it. Oh. Alright, so there's stuff over there. There's a guy over there I can hit, and one of the helmets we need. Get in. Oh, you jerk. Get in. Oh, I hate this. There we go. Alright, we got three to pick up. Alright, what's the safest way to jump over there? Oh, this isn't it, but I'm gonna have to try it. Alright, we, we gotta save here. This is not safe. Okay, here we go. Back up. Back up, and... Make the jump! Oh, yes. Nope. Nope. You pivot that camera. <gasps> I see a life bottle. Oh, we haven't got one of those in ages. Like three hours or so. Like after the second episode, they just stopped giving them out. Holy crap, look at that. Yeah. This is probably a terrible idea. I have to try to hit one of those and see if I can't take advantage of it from a distance. Alright, here we go. Bomb. Don't. Oh, thank you. Yeah, see what I mean? Those things are super unsafe. Nope, no, no, no. Come on. Pivot. Don't you dare, we're not jumping. Well, maybe I should jump over there. So I need... I need the right angle to make it. And I think this is it. Also, I want to put my sword back on. Alright, here we go. Here we go! I made it. I hate the jumps in this area. Oh, I hate them so much. Into the mud. Oh, you jerk. Get in the mud. Got one. There we go. Get in the mud. Mm, big fat Tim Man. Okay, so we need to grab this. We still haven't found all of the helmets, so I'm guessing the gate up ahead will take us to another area of the map, not out. Oh, <laughs> This way. Oh crap, but there's something over there that we haven't done. Well, no, okay, so we're, we're, we should be fine to do this. Yeah, all right. So. No, don't, don't go that way yet. I want to go this way. Stop flaking. I want to make this jump. I better save because the camera is not helping at all. All right. Oh. <laughs> no, you dick. Screw you. Leave that bottle in case I need it later. Look at this damn camera. Never helps you in a good way. It always hurts. 
I would have hoped you could have pushed one of these things and killed these guys, but I guess not. Oh, there's another one. Alright, so let's see what's back this way. Aw, oh, damn it. Don't be nice to kill! Well, it took off a lot of health, but it didn't kill me. And there is one of the things that we needed. I don't think it's the last one. I think we're missing one. No, it is. Shadow demons! Oh, no. Not shadow demons. that health because I think there is uh, better use. Why are they blocking their own guy? In? Right, let's get these guys out of here. Get, 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 get. Nope, 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 nope. Off the ledge. See? Nope, get out of here. Get, get, get off. So you can't even leave unless you get these guys off the ledge. Oh crap, I didn't want to take that yet. I think these... These guys can belly bump you. I don't know if they actually hurt you doing that, but they can. Get off the damn ledge. Get out of here. Get out of here. There he goes. No. What are you doing? There it goes. They did not put those rolly things back at the hill top, did they? No. Good. They did put a bunch of flying ghosts down. I don't know if I should be worried about those or if they're just there for the... No, I should have to worry about those guys. Or I do have to worry about them. Whatever. Come on. Die. Alright, let's find something I can throw at them. See ya. Where's the other one? See ya. <sighs> Risky jump. I think I have to take the risky jump. Okay. Oh, damn you, camera. Oh, every time it does that. And this isn't like Resident Evil, where every shot in the game was a fixed camera angle. And if you were walking down a hallway with the stick uh, held in one direction, the game would keep moving you in that direction unless you stopped. And then if you pressed it again, it would start moving in a different direction. As soon as the camera angle changes, you start moving in the direction that normally holding up on the, the directional stick would move you. So it's it's almost like they, they want you to fail. Fail! Oh... Where is he? I know you're here. I only need one kill to... Or maybe two kills. Gotcha! Alright, let's do this. Turn, turn, turn. Where's the safe? Alright, we'll take this jump. Go! No! Oh, damn it! Ah, I probably should have saved before that jump. I will this time, though. It's a shame this game punishes you for failing their bad platforming challenges. There we go. What would have been a far fairer design is if you fell into a bottomless pit, you just lost some of your health. 
and I would definitely go in the, I think the bad. Oh, hey, it's the serpent guy. Kill him. No, don't run away. I want you to kill the bad guys. No, oh, damn it. Oh. That wasn't even me forgetting to hit the button. That was just, I freaking walked too far. Make that, damn it. All right, we're re reloading. I, I can't afford to lose that much health. All right, well, we know. Was it this one? Oh no, it wasn't this one. It was the one next to the tree. So let's not do that. All right, it was up here. Yeah, 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 there it is. Kalkatura, I think is the name of the serpent. All right, so we gotta make, we're saving. <laughs> God, I hate this. I hate doing this, but the game is just not well designed. <laughs> the game is just not well designed for platforming challenges. <laughs> no, 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 don't over don't overwrite. Load. Damn it, I hit the jump button. I hit the damn jump button. <laughs> I don't know what they want me to do. I've hit the jump button 11 times now. Make the... What are you doing? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So you came anywhere near that ledge the game just assumed you were going to fall in and went ahead and let you fall. No! Ah, damn it! I thought that was a solid platform. No. <laughs> I hate the platforming in this game! <laughs> I don't know what the safe path is here. And uh, the dragon doesn't seem to be hitting anything that's flying towards me, so. Throw the axe. There we go. <sighs> could, could you do more and just fly around me, please? I, I need your help here, Cole. I need you to help cull the enemy forces by killing them with your dragon body. Hit! Damn it! Load. Maybe I should just jump to that platform instead of trying to do a mid mid jump. Oh, there we go. All right. They had to put this as far away from you as they possibly could, and I'm not trying that jump. I'll walk. Maybe this is how I should have been doing it all along. I don't even know if it's worth trying to get that health bottle on the other island. Because that involves making another dangerous jump. No, 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 don't. Yeah, save. Save. Face. Jump. There we go. No, no. Mm -hmm. That was just me trying to turn the camera and hitting the wrong button because, of course, the, the shoulder buttons do not make logical sense. Jump! All right, good. Gotcha. There's another one around here, but I'm not going to worry about him. Right now, I want to focus on this. Get back to Boatman. Oh, no, you don't. I'm glad the tentacles just kind of spot at you. They don't try to grab you, which would be even more frustrating. I have what you need. And I still fall. <laughs> God damn it. Why isn't he just next to the thing? Why is there a gap? Why do you want me to jump here? All right, save. I'm not going to lose all my health bottles trying to jump on this f***ing boat. Maybe I'm not even supposed to do that. Maybe I'm supposed to um, give him the item. No, 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 no. All right. Yeah, I have your helmets. What do you want? Oh, don't you dare make me 
frickin' walk to him. Hey. Take the helmets! And take me where I'm supposed to go out of here. He pushed me off the boat. Okay, good. If I had to make that jump again, I swear to God. Fuck this level, man. <laughs> the worst part of this game, they turned into entire an entire level. Trying to make jumps. And this is not an age thing. I get it. I'm, I'm getting older, so maybe I'm not quite as good at making precision jumps as I used to be. But this game's jumping just is awful. Thank you. Oh, the best weapon in the game. Here we go. All right, Dan, man. How you doing? <laughs> now, Dan, have you got yourself a magic sword? <laughs> What? Daniel, man, you can't go into battle against an army of undead without a magic sword. Here, take mine. You'll never have to sharpen another blade, or my name's not Drake Steadfast. <laughs> it's not enough just to have a magic shield, you know, no matter what that soft ticky stern card says. Yes, absolutely. Take the sword. Good lad. Why, I'd sooner go into battle holding a tea tray than carry that weedy gale shield of his. Wow, he's firing some serious shots at him. Best weapon in the game. I don't think it shoots anything, but it is the most damaging melee weapon you find. Plus, it just looks cool. If you remember Final Fantasy VII, there's a weapon that Cloud gets that looks kind of like this. I think it, it's actually purple, not blue, but it has that same kind of jaggy edge kind of shape to the bottom. I'll put it up on the screen if I can find a picture of it. All right. We have made it through two of the toughest levels that we've encountered yet. Maybe not the toughest levels in the entire game, but we are coming up on one that will reward us for the dragon gems that we picked up earlier in the, the game. I believe it's actually the next area. Uh, if this is the ice caves or whatever they're called, the caves that we're coming up on. Uh, then that would be where you would typically turn those in to get the reward. Let's see what it's called. The lake. Eh, we might still be a little bit early. All right, let me go ahead and punch in a new save state. And we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Um, yeah, the Enchanted Earth, I mean, it, it had some frustration, but it was mainly just figuring out that I needed to use a different weapon against those shadow demons. Um, and the unfortunate decision to make it so that all the frogs and plants that we were killing in that area did not reward you with any kind of chalice filling, that you had to go back through all of the map that you'd already explored and find the shadow demons that were hiding out and kill them in order to get the chalice recharge. That was probably not the smartest way to make the level. But it is, you know, the choice that they made because they wanted you to fight shadow demons for some reason in this game. And that stupid area that we just went through, the ancient pools of dead or whatever it's called, worst level in the game. I mean, maybe there is a harder level from enemy design, uh, from an enemy design standpoint. But I remember this last level being one of the worst game, uh, worst levels in the game and one of the worst designed levels I think I've ever played just because of how awful the platforming is in this game. And believe me, when we get to the review phase for this particular game, I'm going to have some very sharp words about the design of that. But we're through it, so hopefully we'll never have to go back there again since we also got the chalice and we got the sweet magic sword as a result of all the effort we put in. That's going to do it for episode five of my medieval long play. As always, I do appreciate each of you watching and I will see you next time.